right, welcome back to the next tutorial here. So we are ready to start up. You should know the procedure by now. Main battery, APU, canopy. Comms, ATC. Take copy. Taxi to runway 2-2. Sierra 11, one, copy the taxi to runway 22. Brake, tap on the brake, tap on the brake, tap on the brake, rotate the wrist to the right to turn right, and there you go. Line it up as best as possible, a little more throttle, and slowing her down, and we're gonna rotate. Stick to the left this time, making a left turn, and straightening it up. There we go, straightened up, going down. Tap on the throttle. Brake tap, brake tap. Sierra 1-1, one, one. tower, clear for takeoff at runway 2-2. Two, two. 011 clear for run takeoff on runway 22. We got straight up clearance, didn't have to stop and hold short. Okay. It's a quick rolling start there. Don't try that at home. And again, once we get going, I'm going to pull back on the stick, landing gear and flaps up. And there we go, nose up, pulling back on the stick, and landing gear, flaps, and out of burner on the throttle. Nose up, pitching up, turning left, keeping that circle above the horizon in between the 10 and the 5 is good definitely want to keep it above sea level. Now we drop down to five, which is again still good. And there's our wingman coming over, gonna join on our wing. All right, and we're going to level off here. Perfect. gonna hold the heading and hold the altitude there. I'm gonna just adjust the camera here. There we go. Hand on the stick. Autopilot's off. Taking the throttle back. Okay. Alright. Gonna use the anti-ship missile this time. So what we're gonna need to do first is master arm on. As you can see here, in the hood, top left, Cannon Vulcan. We're gonna use the right thumb here on side this stick to switch to anti-ship cruise missile AGM-89. So we're gonna switch to that and we're going to go ahead and bank left a little bit here. Now while we're banking left, we're gonna just do a nice slow bank here and I'll explain the next couple of processes here. So. The anti-ship cruise missile, the AGM-89, we have two of them as you can see. 
It's an anti-ship missile. And so the missile is based upon shooting on a GPS coordinate. So just like you say you want to go to Chick-fil-A or McDonald's or the mall, you enter that and then the GPS, you say this is where I want to go, that's my end point, it knows. The GPS will get you there. Same thing with this anti-ship cruise missile. Um, you tell it where you want to go and it goes there and it hits whatever it's supposed to hit and that's it. It's very simple. So um, what we're going to do here is zoom out. And as you can see over here, this diamond, that's one of the ships. If I turn my head over here, you can see the diamond in the hood. You can't see it, but I can see it because it's not straight on and, and focus. It's kind of over here um, that way. So I'm going to line that puppy up here. Actually, no, I'm not. I am going to see if I can get one of the aircraft carriers. No, we're going to do the cruise ship. We're going to do the cruise ship. Okay, so I'm going to turn a little bit here. There we go. And then as you can see on the other side there, that's probably the uh, aircraft carriers back over there, the other diamond. So right here is this diamond. Make it simple for yourself. Let's just hold heading and hold altitude. Okay, and then we can let go of the stick. All right, because we can do everything we need to do from here for now. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit this button up here for SOI. I call it source of interest. So what you want to do there is you want to take back uh, the left stick here. All right. And then if you move the thumb stick, it will move this little cross here. You move the cross here. I'm going to get a little closer here. There we go. So we're going to pick this closest target here. It's a little, little, little um, touchy. There we go. That's perfect. Now what you want to do is hit this GPS S, which is GPS send. So we do that. It gives you the coordinates. And then I'm going to hit home here and we're going to go GPS. Here it is. Group one. Here's the map. There's the coordinates for that particular target we just selected. So we go back to the map. That's the target we just selected. So we're already getting the shoot symbol here. So all I'm going to do is go ahead and deploy the ordinance. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit the shoot button. There we go. You hear it come off the wings. There it is right down there. You can see it. And there it is up ahead of me. And you can see it up in the air. And now it's going. I don't think we can. There we go. You can see on the screen here, there's the missile right there, I believe. Missile view. Oh, it was, and then it just went away. So, you can see down here. Here we go on the map this blue thing right here that's the missile tracking to the target it's tracking to the target still tracking there's the missile view right there you can see it in that shoot. it's telling us to shoot but we already know we have a missile so we're gonna start looking here we're gonna look down in the hood you're gonna see an explosion here and boom that was the ship getting hit easy peasy that's the cruise ship just took a hit so now what we're gonna do is hit GPS we're gonna delete that delete that waypoint go back to the map we still have our source of interest here and we're gonna move it over to one of the carriers now how about that over to one of the carriers here zoom pretty close GPS send releasing the missile there we go. See it right here on the monitor. It's banking. And there it goes, right out the wing, right up in the air. And then that missile's going to go up and it's going to come down on the target. And while we're doing that, we are going to bank to the left here and we can zoom out. There's our missile right down here coming you can see it on the panel and we are out of them and there is the ship over there we're gonna do a turn here and 
get it in view. Hurry, hurry, hurry. And impact. Boom. There's the impact right there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hit our thumb button. Now we got our dirty bombs, our dumb bombs. Anti-ship missile did not take out that carrier, one of them. So we're going to need to drop some bombs on them. So I'm slowing her down. There's one in the middle of the hole. Boom. There we go. And we're giving a burner and out of burner. And looking over the shoulder, you can see the one is down. So we are going to climb now. And while we're doing that, we can hit our GPS. We can delete the group out of there, go back to the map. Source of interest we don't need. We can just hit reset to take it off. Zoom back out here. There we go. Done. Now, we have five bombs left. So we're going to see if we can drop some puppies on that. Last aircraft carrier over there. Because it will probably take at least three to get them. Okay, there we go. All right, pitching up, pitching up. This is total dive bomb right here. There's our circle. Release, release, release. There's three bombs, just like that. One, two, three, bam. And there we go. We are going to say destroy the carriers, two or two. We did cruisers, but we're going to continue the flight. We have two bombs left. And you can't do this, but I am doing it. Stall warning. Watch the stall warning. It's just a warning that if you keep this up, you are going to stall. And we don't want to do that. So pitching up here, getting us a little bit of altitude. Going to do the same thing with that last cruiser here. Hitting the brake, pitching down, trying to line up here. There's that line. It's a little bit harder, not as big as the um, aircraft carrier. And there we go. One, two. And flip over. Boom, boom. There we go. And rolling back. And objective complete. We destroyed the cruisers. So we got two mission completes. So there we go. Um, still got our weapons on, so you can see our Mark 82s, our Winchester, if you recall. Battery is low on my controller, okay. So we got 10 air-to-air -air missiles, zero cruise ships. We are out of those. We are Winchester. And the bombs, we are Winchester. So all we have is the cannon and a couple of air-to-air -air missiles. So right now, we're done with that. We are going to our comms, air traffic controller. Sierra 1-1, tower, copy, flight heading 138, expect runway 22. Sierra 1-1, heading 138, expect runway 22. So we're turning our dial down here, 138. There we go, 138. And again, we are looking at our heading here 
75 so 138 is going to be over here to the right and so we're turning I already disarmed the master when he was given the um, direction for the airport and the clearance so we actually are going to circle around you know, some throttle here there's the HUD symbol there 13 nautical miles that's the airport over there but I came in last couple of times on this side of the runway and it's a steep hill there so it's I wouldn't suggest landing that way so this is the way you should land probably come down to the other side um, so you don't have to worry about that extra hill so I just turned on the burners so we get there a little bit quicker so today you learned a couple of important things. I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the burner while I explain those things. You learned here on the uh, navigation screen the SOI, source of interest. Um, you select that, get the little green highlight box around it. You can use the thumbstick over here on the right stick to then move around and select a target. So that was the first thing. Uh, we learned there's our runway Sierra, over there. One one tower cleared to land at runway two two. Sierra one one cleared to land on runway two two. So that was the first thing we learned, the source of interest. So turn that off. The next thing we learned here was the GPS send. After you do the source of interest, you send that destination to the GPS signal. The GPS keeps it here. You can set up multiple groups. So you can go in and set up one group, a second group. I just like to do one at a time. Um, so that way I know what, what's happening with everything. Um, so it's just easier that way. Going to just drop the throttle around. There's the landing uh, runway over there. So that was a couple of things that we learned today um, with everything. So what I'm going to do now is just hit on the comms, tell my wingman, flight, Roger, will do. he's just going to orbit here because I'm ready to go in and land so we're going to go ahead and bank over to the left here and he's going to circle in orbit and I got the throttle all the way down as you can see over here and my altitude is 6700 so at this point you can start losing some some uh, altitude because the runway is right over there so and uh, need to pull a little bit harder here so I don't overshoot which is passing what you want to do is overshooting that's the, the lingo for it so stall warning comes up because our airspeed is at 200 knots 198 all right there we are we are way high but we just pitched the nose down here that's fine. Now that we're coming into landing and our airspeed is slow, go ahead and position one flaps. You can already go ahead probably position two flaps. And I'm going to just tap on the brakes here. And I'm going to let go of the stick for a second. You can see the speed brake up here above the helmet. See that flap come up? Putting on the speed brake. That's the speed brake. So when you're on the ground, it's controlling the wheels, but in the air, it's controlling that speed brake there, which is basically just going against the way you're going, and it just creates uh, drag on the plane. A little more speed brake. A little more speed brake. A little throttle. All right. Putting down the landing gear. Putting down the landing gear. You can hear it. Look at that. Those that yellow green yellow dots right there. That means we're lined up perfectly. It's not going to stay that way for me though, but that's okay. So that means we're lined up perfectly and you want to keep the speed, the angle, everything right there. That's telling you you're lined up and you use that. That's called um, the ball. So when you have that set up, that's how you know you're gonna land okay on the carrier so the red means we're fast so I'm hitting the brakes and it went right back to yellow tapping off the brakes there still lined up pretty good a 
little throttle. Perfect. A little slow, a little speed. Pulling back on the stick a little bit. Throttle all the way down. There we go. Touchdown. And brakes. And Welcome back. Follow the taxi path to your parking area. All right. And we are on the ground. So now the brakes control the actual wheel speed. And we're good with our flaps. Put the flaps up here. Zoom into the map. This is telling us where we need to go. And I'm not going to take this right that they say take this first one here because I don't want to go backwards. So I'm going to take the straight method. In real life, you wouldn't do that. You go where they tell you to go because you're possible of running into something you don't want to run into so but since we're the only one here at this airport currently we are going to ignore that and just come right down to this straight way here instead of going backwards and there we go easy peasy still have half in our external tank and we took uh, two anti-ship missiles and six bombs and we blew up two cruisers and two aircraft carriers not bad for a day's work and that flight probably cost uh, you know 30 40 million dollars right there easy just that flight right there the fuel the bombs that we dropped it's no easy uh, uh, no light dollar amount I should say um, all this stuff costs the arm and a leg you know um, one missile is like millions of dollars and you know they have target practice they they practice or deploying these ordinances before they do them in real life you know you just don't walk up and be like, oh yeah this is how it works we'll just try it on this you know ship or this plane they got to go out and shoot and, and practice that so every every missile three four million dollars I'm gonna just hit the brakes here and stop as you can see here here's that AWACS you can see the radar above it he's coming in the way we normally land but you see that hill makes it kind of hard to dip up over the hill and then drop back down and get that runway but it can be done it just a little more challenging there so and now I'm just gonna give you the the look here we can just take a look at it looking at it perfect here see the dish on top that's our AWACS Whoosh. and that symbol on top that round black and white thing is just the radar um, it gives you eyesight beyond your actual radar so um, and they have those in the game so if you set up something you know you want to do a long range whatever it can update you as to targets on the map if they change direction or, or whatnot so so this is yet another tutorial um, but you got uh, to do anti-ship missiles and uh, drop a couple of bombs, uh, which we've already covered. Ground crew is ready to rearm on your command. And so, ground crew is ready to rearm on our command. And we hit the brakes, tap, brake lock on, throttle off of that, and we're pretty much done. So, you can HUD, HCMS, um, engines, gotta turn those off. Engine off, engine off. And then we can do home, comms, ground, 
request rearm um, but I'll hit cancel there's the AWACS over there so we can ask him for you know a picture request RTB vector return to base vector if you're far away from the base they can give you the heading of the base um, and bogey dope so um, and bogey dope is just you know what aircraft are you finding out there and they can tell you um, that info so there's the game and we can hit exit and we're done so um, does it give us home data log? There's our log right there um, of stuff that you, you've done. Um, landed here. That it keeps like a log of what you've done. So explosion, yada yada, all that stuff. Tells you all the stuff if you want to know that. So game log, objective com, options, home, radar, ARAD. So all that's good. Now we're done. Planes off.